The United States said that as Kremlin's invasion of Ukraine approached the 19th month, Foreign Minister of Moscow, whatever it is, against Russia is running a war. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov comments on the state television on Sunday. No matter what he says, is checking this war, said. Aid. Artillery ammunition systems contain missiles and armored vehicle slices. The U.S. has provided intelligence to Ukraine to target Kyiv's Russian positions. Russian state media officials frequently frame Kremlin's invasion of Ukraine as a proxy war with U.S. And Russian state television presenter commentators are inviting strikes to countries that support Kiev in ongoing conflict, such as United States. U.S. Defense Minister Lloyd Austin in late May in a media briefing we do not fight Russia. This Ukraine's fight. Our goal is to make sure we do everything we can to make sure that Ukraine is successful. The United States is the largest military aid donor Ukraine. But like other Western governments, Russia has reacted to aid Ukraine and the threat of possible retaliation. Washington said it would not take U.S. troops to the ground in Ukraine. The Russian state news agency TASS, who reported Lavrov's comments, said that discussions on providing long-range skills to Kyiv in the United States will not change. Essence of what is happening in Ukraine. The United States has so far refused to offer Ukraine's Atticums or the U.S. Army's Army Army tactical missile system which will increase Kyiv's ability to launch long-range strikes. Countries such as the United Kingdom and France sent Anglo-French Storm Shadow or Scalp missiles to Ukraine, which was used to attack Russian goals far behind the existing fronts. However, in military terms, have a relatively few ATACMs. We must make sure protect our own ammunition stocks. U.S. Upper Soldier General Mark Milley said one to the defense in March. Ukraine has long been asked for a missile system from the surface, which has a range just beyond storm shadow. On Saturday, several Republican senators urged President Joe Biden to donate Atticum to Ukraine immediately. On Monday, Matthew Miller, a spokesman for Foreign Ministry, said there was no a change about ATACMs. But long-range systems were a question we continue to buy. Miller, at beginning of this week, these are the ongoing speeches with our Ukrainian colleagues, as well as speeches within United States government. But we do not have a new position to announce at this point.